Okay, on your drills, um, I want to make sure that uh, you understand, you know, on my drills, I have a two-speed drill. Some of them have three speeds. Some just have a variable speed. But anyway, my number one is my slow speed, and when I pull the trigger back, I can pull it back just a little bit and it'll go really slow. The further I pull it back, the faster it goes. And then when I flip up into second, it goes even faster. This ring right here in the front is called the torque ring. And on mine, whenever I'm drilling a hole, I always have this on the icon of the drill bit. Now, if I'm setting a screw uh, using, you know, a, a, like a Phillips driver, setting it in here, and I'm wanting to set the screw down to a certain depth, I will turn this torque ring down to where it won't suck the screw too far down into the wood. That's great for when you're having to do multiple screws at the same time. You can set this and it'll, it'll click out onto you, um, you know, at the same pressure. Um, <laughs> one of the biggest problems I have with students is they like to drill holes in reverse. Uh, and you know, I, I've watched a number of students, that, you know, they'll be pushing hard, pushing hard, and it just won't do anything, won't do anything. And then I walk over there and I say, hey, you're burning your wood. And they look down, well, what's wrong? I said, well, you got the drill in reverse. If you're right-handed, you're going to hold the drill in your right hand. This uh, forward and reverse knob needs to be in to where you can't feel it. If you're left-handed, it should be out to where you can feel it. So just make sure that you're drilling in the right, uh, right direction. The other thing, I have a, a lot of times it's kind of hard to get the you know, the drill bit in here and get it set. These are keyless chucks. In other words, they don't have to have a key to tighten them down. What I do is I take my drill bit in my index finger and my thumb, I set it in, then I take my little finger and I just hold on to the chuck, okay? And I've got it in forward, so then I just slowly go forward until it's centered and in the chuck. Now, you can't stop there because I can take it right back out. What you need to do is to grab a hold of it, and if you listen, you can hear those clicks. That means it's grabbing a hold of this bit and forcing it down there. Now it's, it's in there, and you're not going to pull it out, and it's not going to spin out onto you. So you've got to not only get it in you know, centered, but you've got to lock it down. Okay. The other thing, um, a lot of times I'll have students when they're drilling a hole, they're drilling here, and they they, you know, from their point of view, they're they're drilling straight. But what a lot of times happens, and I'll use a smaller drill bit to emphasize this. A lot of times what will happen, I'm just drilling a little hole. There. It's straight up this way, but it's not straight up this way. So they were leaning out when they were drilling, okay? And it just takes practice for them to be able to get a hole. That's straight up and down. There. Okay. Now, if you're drilling a hole and you're, you know, you're, you're going down in there, but you're not going all the way through. Uh, this is this is what you don't want to have happen. Drilling down, then you stop, you put it in reverse, and you back it back out. What happened was. All of this uh, sawdust, the, the chips, which was in this, in this spiral, you just now push those right back down into the bottom of the hole. Okay? So you don't, let's say you was trying to drill a one inch hole, you drill down, put it in reverse and backed out, you may only have a 15 16 hole because of all the, the trash that was in this 
in the shank here is down in there now. So when you drill a hole, whether you go all the way through or not, leave it in forward, drill down, and pull it right back out. Don't drill down, stop, and then come back out. You want to drill the hole and come right back out. You don't need to stop it, you just need to get it in and get it out of there. Okay? Stop.